This is my guide dog, Guthrie. We've been together probably just over two or so years. As people would know, Labradors, they can be easily bribed with a bit of food. One thing, I guess, with Guthrie, when I first got him, there was certainly a bit of resistance. And you do go through the process of, you know, you're constantly adjusting with disability, right? And losing my vision, it's always evolving. There was a bit of resistance to start with. Then there's a period you go through of acceptance and then also leads to empowerment because it might sound a bit dry or harsh, but in many ways, he's like my mobility device. He helps me get around. But of course, he's much more than that. He's become a good little buddy that he is. It's interesting how people interact with you, with the guide dog and perceive you. And I have had the comment, you don't look like a, a person with a guide dog. And I think, what does a person with a guide dog look like? In some ways, I'm quite empowered to challenge that perception. He comes with me everywhere. He goes on the business trips. He comes to my work in the head office. He goes to the gym. What I do love about Guthrie, though, is I feel like he's a dog for the community. Everyone just feels so connected to him. I'm really grateful, beautiful what the guide dogs can do, but certainly to ensure that I can continue to live my life and, and to be independent. I think it's just really important to challenge any perceptions or attitudes we might have that because that's a person with a cane or that's a person with a guide dog, that they're not necessarily going to want to do and access the same thing that a person without a guide dog or without a cane might want to do.